The defacing of these giant sunglasses has triggered a debate on public art. Artist Michael Elian claims the piece pays homage to former President Nelson Mandela as it looks out over Robben Island. But Elian says he now fears for his life. There were calls on Facebook by respected members in the art community to for violence against me personally. There were threats made against my personal safety. His work has been criticized for being little more than a PR stunt for sunglasses company Ray Byrne. I don't think public art should be funded privately. I don't think uh, that the city of Cape Town is doing enough to ensure that corporate entities uh, are prevented from appropriating public space. Just a day after the sunglasses incident, a new two million rand installation was erected on Signal Hill. The Sun Star is designed by Christopher Swift and sponsored by hotel chain Sun International. The five-story piece is constructed from fencing reclaimed from Robin Island. Swift says artists need corporate sponsorships to survive. There's no money for it, you know, there's no huge benefactors. It's the most we're in a recessive climate. Art is the last thing to get any money. But art lecturer Nomu Samakuru says the problem with these artworks is that they're not accessible to all. And they're a painful reminder of the legacy of apartheid. The proximity or the distance between those spaces, not only that, but also the fact that the city is actually constantly alienating its own people. So that notion of social alienation becomes particularly important for how we understand how public spaces are being privatized by capital. Unrepented Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille says people need to be more tolerant. Allow people the freedom of expression to express the way they feel in any form of art or wisdom. And so I condemn it in the strongest possible term because it shows intolerance. Concerned artists have now called on the city of Cape Town to develop clear guidelines for sponsoring art in public spaces. Bonga Julane, Cape Town.